Welcome to Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems, Expanding Access with Technology. This is Lecture B, M Health Data. The component, Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems, is an overview of how interoperable health IT systems are organized to support care coordination services. This unit, Expanding Access with Technology, will cover the topics of mHealth and telehealth in regards to their use in the coordination of care. The objective for this unit, Expanding Access with Technology, Lecture B, is to explain ways in which mHealth data can be used by clinicians. mHealth data refers to data collected from mobile health tools. These data can be generated by the patient or by the provider. mHealth data can be collected in a variety of settings. While in the clinical setting, data may be collected in the form of the patient profile questionnaire while in the waiting room. It may be collected during the visit with the provider in the form of an action plan with goals. The data may be collected to share with another provider in the support of care transitions. Data may also be collected outside of the clinical setting. These data may be collected in the home from physiological devices or activity trackers to provide real-time data back to the provider. Two-way exchange of information and communication can be achieved anywhere the patient and provider have access to a mobile device. Patient-generated mHealth data sources can be in the form of direct input or data collected from sensors or other devices. Direct entry can include the input of vital signs and or symptoms into a personal health record via a mobile application or website. Data may be entered by SMS text messaging or by emailing directly into a web portal. Data may also be collected in an automatic or passive fashion from a device such as physiological signs from a blood pressure cuff or glucometer. Passive data may also be received from activity trackers or electronic pill bottles. Provider-generated mHealth data sources are primarily collected from clinical documentation. This includes clinical lab results and information about the patient condition, such as goals around the plan of care or educational materials. The provider may also use a mobile camera device to take images of wounds, which can be uploaded to clinical documentation and or shared with the patient. In addition, the provider may use SMS messaging or work directly through a mobile application or web portal to communicate directly with the patient. Data collected during the clinical visit can be used for care transitions by providing real-time data that can be shared with the next provider of care, allowing for continuity across visits. Between visits, data can be collected to allow for review and instant feedback on patient progress towards care plan goals. Collecting data from patients outside of the healthcare setting can allow for a better understanding of the social determinants of health, providing insight into other factors that may impact health. Finally, by using mHealth data, it is perceived that patients and providers have access to data anytime, anywhere with a mobile device. This allows for greater access to care in situations where healthcare is not easily accessible. Incorporation of mHealth data into clinical workflows presents a number of challenges. Since there isn't a standard or mechanism to approve or certify mHealth applications, careful attention must be paid to the method by which data are being collected. Are the data secure? Is the application or device HIPAA compliant? Are the data reliable? These are all important questions to ask when evaluating mobile technologies. In addition, the mechanism by which the data are presented to the provider is important in terms of context, quantity, and source. 
there are currently very few use cases in which mHealth data are directly integrated into clinical workflows, and this can be perceived as a barrier for providers. Providers may be reluctant to use data that are not readily accessible while performing clinical documentation. In some cases, the amount of mHealth data can be a barrier. If daily data are collected from a patient between visits, this may lead to copious amounts of data for a provider to review. Thought must be put into providing meaningful chunks of data for the provider to consume and utilize effectively for clinical care. Identification of the data source during the review of mHealth data is also important. Providers may find the data unreliable if a source is not cited or if the source is deemed untrustworthy upon receipt. Interoperability work is needed in the area of mHealth in order to overcome such challenges and for patient-generated data to be utilized by providers at the point of care. This concludes Lecture B, mHealth Data of Unit 9, Expanding Access with Technology. In summary, mHealth data can be used to support care coordination activities. mHealth data can be collected during a clinical visit or outside the clinical setting. Finding ways to integrate mHealth data into clinical workflows is a challenge, and future work is needed in this emerging area.